As my handmaiden, a dear I'm friend, in fact. Thank you, my lady. And you know how I feel about what's happened to your family. I feel your pain as if it were my own. What you've suffered is beyond imagining. You're very kind, my lady. Of course, Mira. But you must not despair. We will get through this together. You must understand there are limits to what I can say, especially here in King's Landing, now that I am to be queen. To have a handmaiden from the North, she whose family fought for show. Rob Stark. It raises questions at a time I can least afford. Cersei herself cornered me this morning outside the Royal Sept. She mentioned the Northern girl in my service, and she painted you a traitor. She was very pleased with herself. What does she intend to do? <sighs> she intends to make you miserable, knowing that will make she me miserable she... as well. I remember her. She demands an audience. She wants an apology of some sort. For what, I don't know, but she's waiting for us now, and I promised I would bring you to her. I wouldn't ask this of you if it were not important. I cannot afford any conflict with Cersei with the wedding so near. I'll do as you ask, my lady. I knew I could trust you. Humor her. Tell her what she wants to hear. See if the Queen Regent is ready to receive us. She's the one that marries Joffrey. He's gonna marry Joffrey. I don't remember. You'll be fine. I know you will. You may feel one thing, but you must say another. Good luck. Thank you, random girl. Sorry if I don't remember you. The throne. I'm meeting Cersei. You can do this. Is that Tyrion? Lannisters. Can I walk faster? Nope. Ah, Lady Marjorie. Aren't you looking lovely this evening? Lord Tyrion. Your Grace? With your permission, allow me to introduce Lady Mira of House Forrester. Your Grace. The girl knows her courtesies. Impressive. You may rise. I was about to just house Forrester is something. a northern house loyal to the king. Are they? I beg your pardon, your grace. I wasn't talking to you. I want to hear from the girl. Is your family loyal to the king? Perhaps you should ask the new Lord Forrester. He's not here, is he? She is. The girl can speak for her house. Yes, your grace. To the one true king. The one true king. Yet, she didn't say which. The girl is clever. <laughs> she only meant- I don't care what she meant. I care what she said. I won't stand for impertinence from a girl of the North. If you would give her the chance to explain- Perhaps she can explain why the Foresters have been loyal bannermen to House Stark for centuries. A house of traitors. Yes, Your Grace. They are traitors. The Starks were your liege lord, yet you name them traitors so easily. Is it any wonder you were so impertinent to ask which king deserves your loyalty, if you have any loyalty at all? King Joffrey? Is your house willing to swear fealty to your new liege lord, Roose Bolton? Uh. He is the Warden of the North, your grace. He is. And I, the Queen Regent, and Tyrion, the Master of Coin. 
I have no idea what to say with the this. The girl game. has a remarkable talent for answering questions while in fact saying nothing at all. <laughs> Old allegiances are not easily abandoned. I don't know what but to say with this girl. But now that the war is over, we must look to rebuild and forge new alliances. There are ships and shields to be built and Joffrey will need a steady supply of ironwood for his armies. I'm told there are others who would happily serve that purpose, but I trust we can rely on House Forrester. Forster Ironwood does seem rather unique. Yes, Your Grace. It would be a shame to see it fall into the hands of another house. I imagine you'd do almost anything to prevent that from happening, wouldn't you? Ask any Lannister, and they'd do whatever was necessary to save Casterly Rock. It would be unfortunate to see another house lay claim to what's yours. Yes, Your Grace. I would do anything. I see. What would you have the girl do, Cersei? It's not as if she fought beside the Starks, wielding a battle axe for the Northern Army. It raises an interesting question, I suppose. Can we truly blame those who end up on the wrong side of the war? Our dear Marjorie here was betrothed to Renly Baratheon on the false assumption that he would one day rule the Seven Kingdoms. Can we fault her for her mistake? Should she be held accountable? I'm sure she regrets it. Perhaps. Perhaps not. If there's a point to this, I hope you find it quickly. Loyalty can be such a hard thing to define. This city alone is filled with all sorts of ambitious opportunists looking to reinvent themselves. Pretending to be something they're not. Who knows what lurks within their hearts. You are a girl from the North, here in service to Lady Marjorie. One can only assume her interests are yours. Yet loyalty to a king, that must be absolute, beyond question. And if your loyalties were to become conflicted between your king and the very person whom you serve, what would you do then? I'm sure Let she would- Let the girl answer the question. Go on. Oh my god. I would be true to the king, your grace. Well said. I was beginning to Don't worry you didn't have your that. priorities. I'm saying straight. shit because what I'm. You know. I'm she to say is that. a threat to the crown, isn't she? The most dangerous handmaiden in all of King's Landing. My sense is this girl will say almost anything to get what she wants. Pretty which is much. not very encouraging. I'd like a word with you, if I may. Of don't, course, Your Grace. Don't be. Don't give me those eyes. Come on, it's not fair. I'll walk you out. This may come as a surprise, but I met your father once at the tourney at Lannisport. Even then, he didn't dress Drew's Bolton. We only spoke briefly, but your father oh, struck so me as an honorable man. You have my condolences for his loss. These would be trying times for your family, even under the best of circumstances. Thank you, Lord Tyrion. That's very kind of you to say. That certainly took courage. To so publicly declare your loyalty to Joffrey for all to hear. Poor Lady Marjorie was humiliated, although Cersei seemed quite pleased. It was quite the first impression. I, of course, found it all highly entertaining. I was trying to appease her. I think that was clear to everyone. My sister and I have our differences. She takes great pleasure in her little charades. Oh, I weird. take mine in thwarting them. We must find our amusements where we can. She threatened to give your ironwood to another house. It is the master of coin who decides such matters. The Crown needs boats. Boats need wood, and I speak for the Crown in this regard. Not her. You can help my family. I suppose the Crown could be persuaded to secure Ironwood from House Forrester. Lady Marjorie might not look favorably on such an alliance. And it would infuriate Cersei. Although what would be amusing for me might prove rather dangerous for you and your house. Are you willing to risk that? It may be far too dangerous. 
In fact, forget I even suggested such a thing. It's a risk I'm willing to take, Lord Tyrion. Please. You are a brave girl, aren't you? I'll consider it. Now, if you'll excuse me, I promised Sansa I would join her for dinner tonight. Three beautiful bottles of Dornish wine await my arrival. The mere thought of them makes me thirsty already. Good night, Lord Tyrion. Just be careful. This is not the North. King's Landing can be a nest of vipers to the uninitiated. But we are the uninitiated, aren't we, Bruce? Members of the League of Shadows. Mira, I was worried. That what? If they How was me. it? Cersei has a way of looking at you as though you're nothing. It didn't go very well. I'm sorry. Cersei is known for being rather difficult. But at least it's over now. 